want to sit in the back seat with Omar or do you want to sit in the front seat? I can sit in the back one. Oh shit. Omar, what's up? Built in with pillows and blankets. Nice. How's it going, man? What's up, bro? What was your name? Davey. Davey, yeah. Tim. We've met before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're gonna drop the money. Okay, there's one. <laughs> we'll just go with one. There we go. Okay. Nice. Awesome. Good job, Sega. He said I dropped it. You did drop it. Mm -hmm. That's not documented. I don't think she's gonna say she did it. <laughs> I'm assuming that's not this. Matt rented a small fucking Airbnb if you find. Hey man. Oh man. Damn, bro. We're here for like yeah, six hours and yeah, we're gonna go shred. Is, yeah, this is a three bedroom when you get a couch, this fucking torture chamber device, <laughs> <laughs> and then a fucking, I guess a regular bed. Looks like it fell out of a hotel from the 1970s. <laughs> oh, I came in too late, you figured it out. Dude, this bed's sweet. Your backs are gonna be fucked. You should see the fucking dope ass four bedroom we could have had on Main Street. See if it's still available. We'll just go over She's there. We'll leave here. Omar here. He'll have his own spot. That one was a thousand dollars. And? And? So. Omar. Very cold. There's lots of snow. Uh, Ernie's not making it. Ernie has to stay home. But it's already freezing. Uh oh, Mars, I heard you called. Setting up the cams. We got two. We got two cams. We got two GoPros. Two GoPros. Two swivels. We got two pros, too. Two pros, two swivels. Lots of boards. Lots of snow. No dirty iron. We out here.
on the mountain. No injuries to report. It's cold. I'm tired. It's time to go. Oh, okay. Home. The boarding today was hard, cold. Earn didn't go. Earn stayed back to deal with the shipping manager. There's a new shipping manager to make sure that uh, everybody's stuff went out when it was supposed to and you guys get tracking because sometimes we drop stuff off and it doesn't show its track. It's not trackable. So he stayed behind to deal with that. Everything from last week's drop is shipped. Even if it doesn't show tracking, it should show tracking very soon. Uh, another drop on Sunday, which is a restock, plus another design, plus two golden tickets. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Shout out to Earn for the VIP for staying behind, although today's conditions between us between us guys here um, I don't think he would have made it very far it was a fun day nonetheless short and quick but I'm still exhausted because the snow was heavy this box showed up which is tight pretty sure I know what this is um, climb a cool vibe here uh, let's see. Uh, yep climb a cool from JD um, this is not from JD Sports. Well, this is from JD Sports, but mine is not from my JD Sports got canceled. But you can tell it's from JD because the box is crushed because they shipped it in a bag. JD Sports, you silly fucks, stop shipping shit in bag. I don't even care about the box, but a lot of people do. You guys, yeah, I mean, you guys, you guys are crazy. Just buy boxes. It's 2018. What the fuck is wrong with you? Didn't you guys just buy Foot Locker or some shit? Fuck's going on, dog. I don't know what y'all bought, to be honest, but I know it's something. Anyway, rant over. This is a Climb a Cool Ultra Boost. Take a look. First glance. Ooh, and it is nice. This what? Hmm. People really don't like this white part. <laughs> People are really mad about it. Y'all already know what the deal is. You know Adidas dropped the fucking one with some white in it so they can drop a fully black one later. Get to pay all the money two times. The cage is crazy. The cage is different. All right, I'll give these a little test run for the rest of the afternoon, and then we'll be back to talk about these. BRB. Oh, yeah, full disclosure is that I fell asleep. I did not mean to, but you know, propelling your body down a mountain over and over again, I think makes you tired. I'm not really sad about it, I, you know, or upset. Like, I don't, I, don't, I don't guilt trip myself when I fall asleep. Used to back in the day, not anymore. Sleep is a goddamn human motherfucking need. Tell people that. When you fall asleep in class, tell them. It's a human need. Um, just like going to the bathroom. This is the shoe. Big surprise. I really love this shoe. I'm super excited to have gotten it. I'm glad they finally fucking came out. I feel like we've been looking at this. This light is awful. This is better. So I feel like we've been, uh, I've been waiting since I saw these. There was really like not a lot of talk and they still haven't dropped in the United States. These are only basically in Europe. I've seen all three colorways, gray and white. So I would expect them to be all over the place. Definitely a GR. It's definitely not fucking light. And you're gonna be able to find them everywhere. Maybe even eventually on sale. Who knows? I, uh, I am not a fortune teller. I will say that this shoe is super, super sick and that people are probably gonna sleep on it. Same people who last year were hyping it, but have now fallen back into their old habits, but that's okay, because that means you can go. No problem. But uh, Climb Cool Ultra Boost is very much like a regular Ultra Boost, but this would be a regular, um, why the fuck? But just like a regular Ultra Boost, it's, I mean, there's really not a lot to talk about as far as changes other than just the upper. It does have black boost. A lot of people are saying this looks gray to them, like the boost looks more gray. Um, I guess, hold on, I don't really agree. The boost looks the same, black versus black. I will say the upper is not a true black, a lot like how Adidas, you know, they do that where they will call it you black and it's more gray. A lot of the triple blacks have been that way. Uh, this is really no different. It's definitely not a pure black, almost Payne's gray. And uh, yeah, but whatever. I mean, it's probably just a ploy to drop a fucking solid black one later. They like to do that shit. There's a white stitching around the toe area, which turns off a lot of people, a lot of complaints. They wanted this color to be a solid color. I'll play devil's advocate and say that a lot of people also complain about a shoe being just solid black. So. You know, you gotta pick one, I guess. I gotta, gotta pick one party to please. White tips on black laces, which is a nice touch with the, you know, the underlay white stitching. And there's also like a little light, light white stitching 
um, throughout the toe box and into the heel that's all PK. Like a regular, just like any normal Ultra Boost, it's kind of peppered in, very lightly peppered in, but it's still peppered. I guess it would be salted since it's white, but you know what I'm saying. Sprinkled in, you sprinkle that shit. Black on black. 3D printed heel cup, black boost. The boost does not go all the way through. The torsion system is blue. And um, yeah, just black on black on black on black. It's not black, it's like pain on pain on pain on pain. Gray on gray on gray on gray. And then the main thing about this one, though, when I saw the photos, the one concern I had about the shoe is the cage. When I look at this cage, it looks like it's very thick and bulky, and I was really afraid they'd thrown like a plastic piece underneath this thing fully. And with there not being any cuts in it, like a normal cage, you know, normally this is all cut out. I thought it was just gonna be bulky and just kind of make the shoe feel bigger than it should. And they did a really good job on this. It's really thin. They even like cut in to the three stripes so that there's really just like no excess. It's perfect. It flexes with it. It's honestly more flexy than a regular Ultra Boost cage, so I have no complaints. Dodge that bullet, I think it's great. Upper on this shoe is fucking amazing. That is the shining moment for this entire shoe. It's the entire selling point of the shoe. If you don't know what Boost is already, then, you know, like, that's, you know, it's whatever. Like, the obvious seed, the fucking selling point of the shoe is the upper. And the upper does a great job of selling me because, you know, we have all this talk. Like, everybody talks about, like, you know, the whole, you know, uh, you don't know what you got till it's gone thing. It's not everyone, but a lot of people are always talking about Ultra Boost 1.0 and how it all died with 1.0 and they just need to bring it back. Honestly, I don't really agree completely. Some new colors would be cool. I honestly like the Climacool Ultra Boost better than the 1.0 pattern. Like, this pattern is fine, like that's great and all, but this isn't breathable. I mean, if you have Ultra Boost, you know this isn't as breathable as a lot of us would like. This is super breathable. These holes in here, I mean, it's still not gonna be the most breathable shoe, but it's definitely more breathable in the toe area than prior model. Even compared to another 1.0 that has like an open, more open net, like the Chinese New Year. The pores and the pattern are just a little larger. And uh, yeah, I mean, still, this wins to me. This upper, this knit is still PK, it's still stretchy. It's got a little bit more of a coarseness to it. You might not even notice it. It's very, um, it's artisanal, if anything. It's a very artisanal feeling shoe. Yeah, this upper is very much like the 3D printed shoe that I got, the uh, the 3D runner. Very open knitting, super breathable. This isn't quite as open, but it's getting there. So I appreciate that. And this is the same little 1.0 pattern that everyone freaks out about. It's got a couple little cues from like a 4.0, a little faint rainbow line that you get on the Ultra Boost. So that, that's present. So this isn't exactly a 1.0 pattern, but it has that 1.0, it just has that 1.0, it has that 1.0 toe box that people freak out about. Definitely more than anything else we've gotten. Definitely more than 4.0. Um, this would be a great compromise if you're a 1.0 freak. And I'd hope that they would do some really cool stuff with this. No pun intended. Who knows? I don't know what they're gonna do. I like the shoe. I ended up getting a 12 and a half, US 12 and a half, and they fit perfectly. Honestly, they're perfect. And that's with the insole in. So clearly you could half size down, at least in my opinion. I think this knit is just a little bit thinner, a little more open. So maybe that's why uh, maybe there's a little less material in general in there. So it just fits a little looser, but I didn't notice anything crazy, not like. People always have questions on is, is how the boost fits, like is it more like 1.0, 2.0, or 3.0? I think it's more like 3.0, or you know, three or four. Like I, I think it's like a little looser, a little, a little more open and bagged out but just has more of a 1.0 vibe. 1.0 sometimes to some, to some people can feel kind of shallow and they sized up. This is actually a size 14, so if, you know, obviously I could have sized up. This is 12 and a half. Definitely would not be able to wear a 12 and a half in this one. Well, I could, I just have to pull the insole out, loosen the shit out of it and, you know, just not stop suddenly so my toes didn't burst to the front. This is actually super comfortable on a 12 and a half with the insole in, so. Take that data and apply it to your own life as you see fit, ladies and gentlemen. So overall, I mean, I think the Climical Ultra Boost is a must cop, but I fucking cop boost, dog. You know, like, that's my shit. For me, it's hard to say, like, yeah, it's a fucking must cop. This is a fucking Climical, dog. Don't play yourself. But I'm sure there'll be plenty of them. I'm sure there's plenty of other colors coming, collabs, different stuff like that. So, of course, wait, you know, wait, wait shoot your shot when you're ready. But I'm fucking stoked on Climical. I like these cages. I like the whole vibe. So there it is for you. And I think I'm out. Is that it? Yeah, I think I've told you everything you need to know today. All right, I'm out. Peace. But to our fear of the dark crew goggles, the idea of alien beings troubles us. We conjure up objections.
Thank you.